Costa Mungers Barrows, as much a part of London's Cockney traditions as jelly deals and bow bells. But like so many other traditions, in danger of being snatched from the hands of the craftsmen by 20th century mass production. Not if Irishman Terry O'Doherty can help it. In his Covent Garden workshop, his assistants carry on the barrow tradition with dedicated and loving care, right down to the last beautiful carvings on the wheels, executed with pen-like flourish. Stalls and barrows are a happy combination of business and pleasure for Terry, a hobby which is fast becoming big business. Suddenly, the tradition is in vogue once more. Carts still have a practical use, but now all sorts of people are jumping on the wagon to use them on film sets or even as antiquated decor in trendy boutiques. Even the smallest part of the barrow-making process is subjected to a painstaking scrutiny. Traditions die hard, and a genuine piece of old London takes time to perfect. No conveyor belt techniques here. It takes about a fortnight to make a barrow, and even the metal parts for the carts are forged in the workshop at Mr. O'Doherty's home in Hertfordshire. Barrows have iron shod wheels and are made from ash. And Terry also has the largest collection of antique horse-drawn vehicles and hand carts in Britain, which of course includes the old knife grinding cart. Ancient fruit barrows take pride of place too. And the connoisseur's collection just wouldn't be complete without the organ grinder, but alas, minus his traditional monkey. Cart collecting is a cosmopolitan business, and the Wild West takes its place alongside Cockney London with this authentic buggy. Italian Renaissance, too? Yes, this colourful Sicilian lemon cart, one of Terry's most treasured possessions, reflects the exquisite craftsmanship of bygone artistry. Most of the carts in Terry's collection are more than 50 years old, curious and beautiful relics from the past. But basically they all owe their existence to that most ancient of inventions, the wheel. <laughs> 